Hello everybody, Georgie Burns here. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. This is a Pinterest idea and I didn't take the name and I haven't got my phone near me. So whoever designed this, thank you. Sorry I can't say who it is. Um, to make this card I have used Peaceful Moments stamp set and I'm going to be using Thank You and also um, these dies. Now I do need that one, that one and that one. I've already cut out this bit, the white bit, which is here, was here. Throw it on the floor. So I don't need that one. And that one. I have got card base oh, of Knight and Navy of eight and a quarter, no, eleven and three quarters, scored at five and seven eighths, folded in half, and it's four and one eighth wide. I've got two pieces of white cardstock, five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. One for the inside and one for the front. And a piece of DSP. This is from the Sailing Home paper stack. Now retired, I'm afraid, but um, I just needed some blue and white striped. And that's where that's come from. I've got a scrap of blue, night and navy, and a scrap of white. And I've also got this denim ribbon. Now, I think I got this off uh, Katie Freeman when she gave us a kit or something. So I'm going to be using that. And I will be heat embossing the sentiment. I did do one, but it's all spotty. I didn't clear it properly, so I'm going to make another one. So, let's get started. We've got to do some cutting. So we're going to cut out with my Sizzix Sidekick, my plates. We're going to cut out one of these. This just fits on there. So I need to cut the card for it. for the plate. So those are flour. Get rid of that. Don't need that no more. Uh, we need some scrap. For this whole leaf. I'm going to put in there. And the centerpiece, will that go on there? Yeah. that. There's our centerpiece. <coughs> and 
and we need a white piece of card for this bit. Is that bit cut? <coughs> Put these back in the box for oh, I lose them all. together little dubs of glue around the outside that way like that lucky enough this glue dries clear so you can't see it the centerpiece on like that and then glue what I do with my flower I've lost a blue piece of flower Guess where I put it? In the bin. So, just little bits of glue on the leaves. I should, should say the shadows. That's our bits done. Might put them to one side and we will do our embossing. That there. My verse mark. And my thank you stamp, and I'm going to stamp that right there. A scrap of 
paper. That should do. Someone messaging me. Heat gun. Sorry about the noise. Thank you, but it needs straightening up because it's not. bits together. Now we just have to put the card together. Oh, I've still got quite a bit of this paper left. As always. Always left with the loads of paper. I don't use it enough. It's my trouble. Right. Let's stick the inside. I didn't do anything inside because it's just a thank you card. Now then, the ribbon. On the first one I made, I just did two strips across there. That was only because I messed up the, um, I sellotaped all one side instead of taping just one bit so that I could do that. Like that. And I taped it wrong. So this time I'm going to tape it right. So I want to tape it from there. So with my runner, scrap paper, runner, I'm just going to run tape over it. And Just do that. And then this side, I'm gonna run tape over it. Let's cut this. How much do I need? That much. That. 
and then we've got our ribbon down the right way and this just sits in the front of the ribbon or on top of the ribbon and this sits under the flower and that sits there on dimensionals so let's glue this down bent the petals up. That's it. And stick that on top. And this I just need a couple of dimensionals. Three. that straighten this up yeah so all we've got left to do is to put some pearls on it which I didn't bring over behind me. I've got some nice tiny pearls here. Which I'm going to stick three on. News. Let's stick that one down there. There we are. That's our card finished. Hope you enjoyed that. Right, I've got a little announcement. By the time this comes out, oh no, this was going to come out tomorrow. I am at 998 subscribers. I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm going to give away a stamp set. Um, Tasteful Touches stamp set I've ordered. And whoever comments on the card that comes out after I hit 1,000 subscribers. So if I hit 1,000 subscribers, say on Tuesday, the video on Wednesday, whoever comments on that video will be put into a draw to see the winner of my 1,000 subscribers. hope that's clear enough. If I don't hit until the Thursday, then it will be the Friday video, so on. So whatever video comes out after I've hit 1,000 subscribers, I will take all the people who comment on them video, that video, put them in a draw and draw it out and the winner will receive the stamp set. If you want to comment but don't want to be put in the drawer, please say no thanks. If you want to be put in the drawer, just say yes please. Or yeah, you don't need to say please. Okay, well, I hope you like this card. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, please press the subscribe button. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.